guys, it's Sugar Alicia Pink and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So we're gonna get right to it, guys. This is for my cancers. Hello, cancers, how are you? Everything is good, I hope, for you guys. So we're gonna get right to it, guys. I need for my cancers to take three deep breaths. Three deep breaths, okay, guys? And I want you to ask your spirit guys, ask your angels, what is the energy that is going to be surrounding me this week for the week of December the 1st to December the 8th. Okay, guys, so we're going to um, do that. Make a pause this video if you like while I shuffle cards. And I am going to ask my angels and my spirit guys for an accurate message and an accurate reading for cancers okay guys cancers i just popped right out so cancers i feel like you're going to be having a good time this week still out here celebrating having good old fun with your friends and your family you know new um abundance new manifestations coming and fruition new journey new journeys for you Let's get clarification hmm. powerful powerful manifestations connecting with your um ancestors family a lot of family probably getting an investment new house new home new just new a new family new lifestyle for sure clarification getting control over your emotions not taking things seriously or personally walking away from things that don't serve you receiving gifts and blessings actually moving so i really do believe that this is about you moving i think you're moving out and getting a new home or something Master Manifester, you are most definitely creating something, manifesting something big. You're probably trying to manifest a house, trying to manifest a home. Um, you have the queen of this. So yeah, money, money, money. Most definitely some money coming your way. Let's get uh, one more card for Cancers. One more card for Cancers. the moon okay hello cancers this is beautiful so i feel like yeah you're gonna most definitely walking into the unknown more getting connected with self with your spirit guys with your spiritual team the moon full moon just passed so i feel like you have been doing the releasing work the spiritual work okay Let's get some clarifications. Clarification for Three of Cups. Clarification for Three of Cups. So with this, I feel like it's time for you to open up your heart chakra a little bit more. Um, become more sharing, more sharing with others. Don't keep things bottled up inside. It's not healthy and it's not good for you. Let's get clarification for the Princess of Cups. Clarification for the Princess of Cups. Clarification for Princess Cups. Princess Cups. Okay. You've got both of these. For the princess of cups and like yeah like i said it's a new journey new abundance so yeah this is celebration maybe getting a new job new home a new promotion new business for sure because the aces is all about newness 
so this is most definitely you celebrating something new for sure something that you have been manifesting for a long long time and it's finally finally showing face let's get some clarification for ten of discs you got the seven of cups so with this, I feel like you have a lot of little options going on. Like I said, I think this has to do with uh, moving into a home or moving somewhere or just um, your family. And you have a lot of options. You probably have a lot of options to where to move to. You probably have, you can move anywhere at this point. You know, you good. Let's get some clarification for the Eight of Cups. 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 got the ten of pentacles again you know the ten also stands for endings and new beginnings so i feel like most definitely once you finally walk away from things that don't serve you new beginnings is most definitely on its way to you new abundance family marriage um all that good stuff connecting with your ancestors your ancestors will be helping you along the way new money new wealth new job opportunities new just new everything okay for you um let's get some clarification for the six of cups another 10 hello baby you winning you are winning cancers okay and this is the overall positive energy just the sweet love and kindness gifts you know just a beautiful innocent energy and this is most definitely another sweet abundant energy just like overall you know i'm good i'm abundant and you are just <laughs> this is an overall positive reading for you um for you um cancers like i'm loving this reading let's get a clarification for the chariot clarification for the chariot clarification for the chariot okay so you got the um two of wands all right and this is you moving forward moving ahead you know literally just can't wait to put things in the past behind you looking forward you know and this is seven of swords but this is also about people uh you know being sneaky and not being proud of your success but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day no one can put anything negative on you unless you agree to it unless you agree to it you know get invest in the book called the four agreements okay i love the book i'm currently rereading the book actually and he says in the book that you if you you cannot get anything negative thrown at you unless you personally agree to it so if someone trying to hex you someone trying to curse you someone trying to wish harm on you it cannot prosper unless you agree to it unless you accept it okay and you can just speak in existence no weapon formed against me shall prosper and that's on period okay so let's get clarification for queen of this 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 Clarification for Queen of Dust. Clarification for my Queen of Dust.
okay so you got the world card oh this is beautiful this is like a healing beautiful um all coming into full circle all oneness you have done the work it is time to reap the benefits of your hard work and your hard labor you are good boo i love this oh, this is beautiful clarification of the magician card okay yeah you got this the hermit card with the magician card so with this i am getting that you most definitely need to take some time alone take some time for yourself to really figure out exactly what you want to create what you want to manifest you sometimes you need to spend that alone time sometimes you need to get get alone with yourself spend that alone time go within and really 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 horn in your manifestations and your creations let's get some clarification for the moon card clarification for the moon card okay you have the queen of cups so cancers we all know y'all are very emotional emotional sign is okay you might be a pisces rising or something but um Look, the Queen of Cups, you know, no matter what she does, she's going to be good. She's very, very abundant. She's very in tune with her psychic abilities, very in tune. So I feel like, yeah, you're going to have a lot of people attract, attracted to you because she's a beautiful soul inside and out. You know, and yeah, once you release the negative things, you know, walk away from things that don't serve you, you will most definitely embody her and you know good things will most definitely come your way you will most definitely be able to manifest with the queen of cups okay so that is your reading cancers i hope you like that i really do So we're going to get some affirmations for my cancers. You got I am open, I am worry free. And then you got I am safe. Okay, so I am open free. Vulnerability is my strength, not my weakness. My openness attracts those who are beneficial to my highest good. When I lean into my feelings, I am honoring my truth. When I communicate my feelings in a loving way, I am speaking my truth. I am open. I am worry free. I release worry over things I cannot control. Instead, I choose to focus on things that are pleasing to me. When I release worry, I allow room for solutions to enter my life. I am worry free. I am safe. I trust my intuition to lead me down the right path. Looking back on my trials, I see that I'm still here and thriving. I always end up better, stronger, and wiser. I have proven to myself that I will always make it time and time again. I am safe. Yes, work on that root shock where you are always safe and you will always make it time and time again, period. Let's get some clarifications and some more affirmations for my cancers. Okay, so you got attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separations are merely calls for help. There's nothing wrong with getting help and asking for help. One is, is my true nature, and you got my happiness is a direct reflection of my level in the universe. Let's get an overall message for my cancers. Overall message for cancers. You got good things, good things come, good, good things to come, okay? Good things to come. All right, 
there are so many amazing gifts coming my way. I can't see them now because I respect the general convention of not peeking under wrapping paper. But they will show up when the time is just right. And that's when I remember how much fun it is to be surprised. Okay, good things is most definitely coming your way, Cancer. I, through that reading, I truly feel like it's a lot of good things coming your way. All right, Cancers, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Also, follow me on Instagram. Also, if you want your 2020 um, reading um, ahead, what's coming for you for 2021, check out my Etsy shop. I am selling out on Etsy shop. Also, I am doing a virtual vision board party on December the 19th. So, check that out, guys. And thank you, thank you guys for watching and have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.